digital world, social media is actually changing the way we consume information, the way we sell in, it's changing the skills and the mindset of the salespeople. Everybody searching for the shortcut to easiest way to do things, which at some extent right thing. Practical inspiration, practical advice. Hey, how are you doing? Great. Fine, thank you. Our solution is a solution for luxury brands and uh, fashion brands. The idea is to embed a small NFC tag inside the original product during the manufacturing stage and customer can simply scan it with a mobile phone with a special app and get all the information about the product including the information about the authenticity and also some exclusive content. It would be really cool if you can just tap a product with your smartphone and get the idea if it's fake or not, if it's uh, original, if, if you can buy it or you should avoid this. Yeah. What's your GTM? So yeah, if so you go direct, you will have no time to knock every single door. Yes. You yes. can scale only through the partner ecosystem. Yes. Question mark who this partner will be. We face that big brands, they're very slow and the, 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 deal, um, uh, the deal cycle is very long and uh, the big brands, they are always unwilling to be the first. So right. we tried it for, for half a year, for e even more and we've achieved actually no result with them. Of course, they are, they are early adopters, mm -hmm. but still we understood that the go-to-market strategy uh, will be to start with smaller brands. Where are you with analysis of the market? What agencies do specific consultancy services or marketing services or digital transformation services for top brands? Yes. This, that, because they are the your partner. It's a question yeah. number one. Question number two, while doing that research or progressing on that, how do you see your partner program or let's say value proposition for those guys to make them be motivated and interested to focus on you? It's the revenue sharing program. We, we launched it uh, some time ago. First of all, it was a uh, relatively small commission, 20% to the mm -hmm. partner, but then we realized that it's, it's, too, it's too small that partner, uh, when we're going with a new product, we need to give much more money so for of the course. moment we, we are giving 50 percent and we are thinking to increase the commission for partner my recommendation for you to build the finance model it's not too complicated to do start with some high number i don't know even play like take an example of those most successful fraction z networks in the world right so mm -hmm. their commission mm -hmm. they they given margin living margin on the table 80 90 percent to start Okay. Then, as business developing, they definitely yeah. reconsider the program because you do it annually. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way you tailor your contracts will allow yeah. you to do so. But my recommendation to start, go to, to, to start with a high number, to go for the acquisition, because you've okay. got to build a reference. And yeah. you've got to build yeah. the little success story to make sure that the partner whom you choose yeah. will focus on you. Because again, you're fighting for attention and their share of time yeah. spending on you because they definitely have a lot of things to do. Yeah. For and example, uh, one of the key yeah, scenarios what I clearly see in my mind now is if wherever you name it, a brand has it inside their bags, belts and wherever that leather goods, they can actually drive inventory pretty easily. Means it will fit their current framework that they want to burn anything unsold, mm -hmm. means they're counting that real time. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not just consumer who getting value from that. Yeah. It's also will fit the agenda of the vendor. Because currently what I see, hmm. you so much focus on a consumer and its values, be because probably GDM will be faster for you to be on market in the beginning if you will focus on the values of the vendor. What you need to develop is a marketing and branding capabilities because if you will go with a direct sales proposal, you always will be limited with your conversion rate because yes. it's likely multi-step journey for your potential uh -huh. prospect rather than yeah. direct yes or no means you need to build some cool story around that to make it more attractive. Probably your channel need to become the story about the how to, you know, practical advices, how to understand what's genuine, what's not, even if this thing is not existed and also link it after. Yeah. Also to build the story, build the quizzes, build the, all the engagement capabilities there to make the yeah. number, how many, how many uh -huh. subscribers you have on your channel, or how many viewers? Uh, 100, 150. Yeah. So it's, yeah. so it's uh, because for you, it should be definitely mixed from a consumers. Yeah. Yes. And 
mix from, uh, and a mix from uh, the potential business customers. What you also need to do, and I strongly recommend, reserve the budget and reserve the capabilities to build your early adopters community and start to distribute the thing across the consumers and start to demonstrate on them that communication capabilities to provide exclusive content, exclusive mm -hmm. thing, uh, draw the price, something. Because other, while you're talking is one story. When you're showing it's real and other people saying it's real, it will yeah. be different impact. Okay. Cool. So let's let's agree on a, see the track in progress in a couple of months from now. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Really great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.